Hi everyone, so today I'm channeling my inner hippie, but I'm sure you guys won't mind as today I'm going to have a little ramble about tinted moisturisers. It's going to be like ramble about tinted moisturisers slash top five moisturisers sort of kind of video. But I have really been off foundation now for a good few weeks, sort of months really. It's I wear foundation every now and again. I test out new foundations every now and again, so it's not like I'm completely sworn to tinted moisturisers, it's just on a day-to-day -day basis, tinted, moisture, tinted moisturisers are what I go for. I used to be the most full coverage foundation kind of person. I loved MAC Studio Fix Fluid, Chanel Matte Lumiere, uh, Girl Anne Lingerie de Peau, like really quite medium to heavy coverage foundations. I still love the Gemma Kid Light as Air foundation, and that is by far my favourite, favourite foundation. And it seems to be out of stock everywhere at the moment, but if you contact the Gemma Kid website directly and ask to be put on a waiting list for it, which is what I've done, um, they will let you know when it comes back in stock in your colour. So that is what I'm waiting for right now, but I still love that foundation, and that is my ultimate, ultimate foundation. But in terms of tinted moisturisers, they're just what I've been going for recently. I much prefer the finish of them. They're much more natural. They're much more skin-like. I cannot believe how much I used to powder my face into oblivion. I used to go really, really crazy with matte skin finish natural and just be powdered up and really, really thick and heavy and caked on. And I don't know if it's because it's now summer or just if my tastes have changed, but tinted moisturisers are the way forward for me. I really like to just apply the tinted moisturiser and then apply a bit of extra concealer where I need it, whether that's under my eyes or my cheeks where I get a bit of redness. And for that I use either the By Terry Touche Velute or the Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Concealer. So those are sort of what I use with them and also to apply them. Sometimes I use my fingers if I'm in a bit of a rush or I use the Real Techniques Buffing Brush which buffs them into more of a slightly heavier coverage. Still very light coverage, but if I need a bit more coverage, that's what I will do. But there's kind of six here, I've sort of cheated a bit. I'm going to get started with the lightest coverage, which is very much more of a moisturiser with a tiny bit of a hint to more heavier coverage tinted moisturisers that are more of a light finish foundation, really. And the first one is the Omri Vitsko Complexion Enhancer SPF 15. This is pricey and it only comes in one shade. It's very much like the rich man's version of Origins by Tizing, but if you want something very, very fancy with lots of added skincare benefits, this is very much a moisturiser with a bit of tint. It adds a nice warmth to the complexion. I don't find it to be as orangey as the Origins by Tizing is, but then I don't mind a bit of orange. <laughs> but this is a sort of one size fits all, just adds a bit of glow to your skin. You can get it off of Cult Beauty, I think, and maybe Zunetta. But I think it's from Colby. So this is perhaps a good choice for more mature skin tones that just want a hint with some added like skincare oomph in it. That this is a good choice for you. Then this is where I've cheated a bit because I put two Origins products in. The Origins Vitasing SPF 15 with added mango steam is something that I've had in my collection for years. This is currently a little sample that I got when I ordered some bits off of the Origins website and you got to pick a sample so I picked this. I think this is great. In all of my tutorials that I do, I'm always wearing this as a moisturiser just because it adds a bit of a hint of colour to my skin and sort of evens it out but without being a tinted moisturiser. It's very much a moisturiser with a hint of tint in it, much like the On Repeat Scratch Lee. It's not too pricey, I'd say this is the cheapest. I think this is the cheapest one that I've got here, so this is definitely the more slightly budget-ish. I think it's about £25 but you, it lasts you forever. I think it is fantastic. The only thing is it might not be great for really, really pale skin tones because it does have a slightly warm-ish, orangey-ish tint to it. So it's more for my skin tone and up, I'd say. But I really, really like this and it's always something that I'm going to have in my collection. And then the other one from Origins is the A Perfect World SPF 15 BB Cream. I've got the shade um, O2 Light Slash Medium. I'm just not really into BB creams. I know they're very similar to tinted moisturisers, but I usually find them to be quite greasy on my skin. This one is completely different though. It's very much like the Origins Vita Sing, but with a hint of extra coverage, a hint of extra colour to it. And this one's great because I think it comes in around six or seven shades. So you can play around with the shades a lot more and there's going to be one to suit you. So if Origins Vita Sing doesn't suit you because of its colour, then try this. They're very, very similar. I think I slightly prefer this one just because it does have a sort of more hint of coverage to it 
Um, I really like this. I will be. I think I've put up a review of this on my blog already, so I will link that below because I really like it and I think it's the best BB cream that I've tried. Now onto my most recent tinted moisturiser purchase, and that's the Josie Marin SPF 15 Argan Tinted Moisturiser, and this is in the shade Butter. This you can only get in the States and Canada, I think. I'm not too sure. You can't get it in the UK, but this is definitely the more of a moisturiser, like it's very very moisturising on the skin. I don't tend to use a moisturiser and then put this on top with all of the other ones. I do my skincare routine as normal and then almost apply them as a foundation. I use moisturiser underneath, but with this one you don't. I think it's got a shed load of argan oil in it. It's very very moisturising on the skin and it is definitely the heaviest one out of all the ones I own. So this is perhaps a good choice if you've got quite dry skin or mature skin as well. Probably not the best for oily skin. My skin is kind of normal so it can handle it just about. Um, but I really really do like this one. It's definitely got quite a lot of coverage to it, blends in beautifully, feels great on the skin but it is definitely more moisturising and nourishing than the others that I've picked. Now onto my two favourites and no surprises here is the Chantikaija Skin Anti-Smog Tinted Moisturiser SPF 15 in Glow and the Laura Mercier SPF 20 Oil Free one in Bisque. These are both great. The Chantikai is blooming pricey so I would sort of save this if more you had like a real lemming for Chantikai or you had a gift card or you just couldn't get it out of your mind. But if you fancy, this is has slightly more coverage and is slightly thicker, more foundation-like than the Laura Mercier, but I'd say the Laura Mercier is just the best choice, kind of out of all of them, because they've got so many different colours and different versions of it. So I've got the oil-free because I have normal, kind of oily-ish skin. However, they do a normal one, they do like a nourishing one, they do like a radiance-boosting one, they do loads and loads of different ones for what you want to get out of it. So I think this is the most customised choice that you can get really. You're gonna find one that's gonna suit you, which is great about this one. I love it. They both um, last a similar amount of time on the skin. They both offer similar amounts of coverage. Chantikai is slightly more, but only just. I'm actually wearing a mixture of these on my face today. Yeah, they're just the perfect color right now. I just think they're great. I actually adore them. But to be fair, I like all my choices. There's sort of ones that I would go for on different days. If I was just like popping down the shops, I'd pick like throw on one of the Origins ones, or if my skin was feeling a little dry I'd pop on the Josie Marin one, if I needed a little more coverage then the Chantikai, so they, they kind of all work for different types of things, I mean you don't need all five, I would highly recommend the Laura Mercier out of all of them because you're just going to get a really tailored choice to what you need and a really good colour as well, they have a massive range of selection of colours in that. So wow, that was really a ramble about tinted moisturisers, but I hope you like it. If you have any more questions, do pop them below and I'll try my best to answer you. And if you'd be interested in perhaps seeing detailed reviews on my blogs of all the different ones and maybe pictures of me wearing them, then do pop that below because I think that's something that I'm going to do in the future. But let me know and if you have any more top five recommendations, also pop that in the comments below. I'm thinking that a bronzer one will be next. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you for watching.